up, y'all? It's James Disciple Johnson, founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, and I'm here in Project Lazarus fulfilling my global mission, which is to disciple men to have a daily word and prayer time and to return to the old school values of honor, respect, loyalty, chivalry, and love. And tonight I'm here with... Armella Harmony Shivers. That wasn't as big as my introduction. Yeah, no. What did you guys think of the intro? <laughs> if you love it, hit that love button, smash it, do whatever you feel is required. Share that you are watching the video. Tag some friends in the video so they can yeah. get involved too. Tonight, we are debuting what you've been asking for, video of you. I bet that as you're watching this video, you're probably going to be able to see some of yourself if you've ridden in a disciple pack or been to a big run because we have got some of the clips that are the best stuff we've shot over the last few years. And it's super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. And I've got a lot to show you. But first, I want to show you this room. Isn't this a great set right here? I know that the camera is not all that stinking good and there's better cameras coming. But what is important is that we uh, have the Project Lazarus office. This is the Disciple Global Worldwide Ministry Headquarters. And so we're here for uh, you know shooting video, for working all day long. And uh, it is, it's getting better and better. And uh, obviously the lovely Amy is highlighted in pink <laughs> and I'm in purple, dark like my soul. And uh, <laughs> and tonight uh, I want to introduce Project Lazarus to you. We actually took a camera today while it was light, uh, first thing this morning, and we started shooting video about Project Lazarus. I want to give you 120 seconds of really awesome introduction to the studio space where we spend our time and where we make the stuff you're watching. Well, we're headed to the office in the pickup truck. And Armella, you look beautiful as always. What do you think tonight's show is going to be like? It's going to be epic. Epic! Yes. Epic show tonight coming. You'll be the judge of that. It's Tuesday, January 5th, and today we're in the office working. You can see Retro and Drew are at their stations editing video, doing the work of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. And of course, I'm over in my corner getting ready for tonight's live stream. Check out the Disciple Office. The Disciple Office is where we fulfill the club verse for Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club, Hebrews 10, 24. Let us consider how we may inspire each other to love and good deeds. And so here when we gather together, we're creating video, we're talking to folks around the world, we're dealing with uh, club issues, merch issues, and this is my desk where I spend time editing video and turning out the kind of things you're seeing right now. And then, of course, we have the recording studio. Today, Armella's in there. Isn't she beautiful? Give us the wisdom of Armella. And it's urgent that you start working on your inner game right now. And that's the wisdom of Armella. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Project Lazarus, our global ministry headquarters for Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Thank you for supporting us, giving us the time and the resources to sit here and work on spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the globe. Thank you so much for your support. God bless you. From here at Project Lazarus, I'm James Disciple Johnson. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. Well, this is Project Lazarus. It is a place for working, a place for editing, shooting video, creative space. And uh, yeah. it, uh, it's amazing what just a little bit of light on the opposite wall can do for you. Uh, but Project Lazarus has become a place of peace. Uh, the church that's helping us out has really blessed us a lot to be able to work here. And uh, we spend a fair amount of time here. Well, uh, I have to tell you that the coolest video that you've ever seen is going into something that's called a YouTube unsubscriber video. And so when somebody who just happens to stumble across my channel or isn't a subscriber watches one of my videos and they go, well, I want to watch something else from this James Disciple Johnson guy, yeah. they, they are fed something called an unsubscriber video by YouTube. And that's the video where in three to five minutes, I'm supposed to describe who I am and what I do. And so I've been working on this video for about a week now. And I wanted to share with you some of the raw cuts. I wanted to share with you some of the video that's going into this. Not all the video, and we're going to break it down a little bit, but it's some of the video that's going into that video. And uh, I want to show you some of the places I've been, some of the places, some of the people uh, that mm -hmm. we've gotten to minister to. It's so amazing. 
And uh, so want to punch into this uh, unsubscribe video. Check this out. So what you can see here is the USA run 2019 uh, guys getting prayed over just the brotherhood and, and how awesome that is. And uh, man, there's a guy really having an emotional experience with God. That is the most beautiful thing. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. what we do this for. Here's my old street in Germany. Yeah, that's my old street in Germany. So we're cutting to the part of the video about what we did in Europe. That is uh, Europe's largest all brick bridge. Look at that. That's really cool. Built by Hitler. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the Autobahn. And this is uh, Dresden. Yeah, look at that architecture. That is uh, that, that whole town was burned. This was my favorite church. And I want to stop and talk about this for a second. Uh, the churches in Europe really were moving to me. And it was really an emotional, spiritual experience. Uh, not only did I get to see these churches, but I got... And it was so awesome. It was really a spiritual renewal for me. And uh, this was the Zwickau Dome, or is the Zwickau Dome. Look at that. That is beautiful. That. And that's actually the town that I lived in, is in Zwickau. And uh, my camera work isn't the best, but man, wow. this is the church that I went to. Look at that. And when mm. I came here, I, I didn't realize that this church was shaped like a cross. Yeah. And uh, so it's actually something I caught in the drone shot that the church itself was built to be shaped like a cross. And I got to not only go to church there uh, and hang out with Christian bikers there, but I actually got to sleep in this church, in the tumor zimmer, they call it, the uh, bell ringers tower. And uh, to play music in there, to play the piano in there, to play the drums. I got to worship by myself alone in this, the Lucas Kirkia it's called. Uh, there's been a church there for a thousand years old, and this current one is about 120 years old. And uh, 100, 110 years old, somewhere in there. And that's the actual room that I slept in right there. Uh, in, the, in the steeple, it's in the tower, uh, way high up in the air. Super cool. Yeah, wow, well, what an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. That was actually the street that I lived on also when I would open my window in the morning and hear the church bells every morning. It was from this exact spot. In fact, if you look down there in the shot, you can see a yellow castle. That's a, that big square building is actually a castle. And that's the uh, Schloss Castle that was at the end of my street called Schlossparkstrasse. Uh, it's kind of cool. This is Thailand. You guys know we went to and spent a lot of time sewing into guys across the globe. Here's Slim and Matei and I in Thailand. And obviously we went there to ordain Matei. And there we are uh, with our shot on top of his head. But we had yeah. our hands on his head and we were ordaining him as a pastor. And this is uh, some of those Thai Watts. I have to tell you that there's some very interesting video coming up. Uh, Drew Green, one of his jobs here is to be able to edit some YouTube video. And so he's doing that. And right now we're actually doing a video about me talking to a Buddhist monk and like learning about their religion. Obviously, we did one in a mosque. Uh, we did one with a Native American healer. And now uh, in Thailand, we shot this thing and we've never aired it. And so we're going to be putting it out there. Yeah. And uh, so that's some of the actual footage from that. But it's, uh, it's just an absolutely amazing, amazing place. That's a big uh, Buddhist like uh, university. That's gold on top of that, huh? Real gold. Yeah, wow. Now this is uh, some disciples rolling at a run and uh, I just thought it was really beautiful footage. I jumped off my bike, grabbed out my camera and this is the result. And uh, it's absolutely a uh, beautiful video. I love this. If you love motorcycles, make sure you share this video, click that like and love button. Look at that. There I am uh, uh, connecting cameras and uh, stuff on my bike. Oh, that's gorgeous.
That's uh, as you guessed, that was Florida. I was standing on the bike there. All this greenery got cut out of. I raised my fist. You know, that's like warfare, spiritual warfare for me. Yeah. And uh, I think it's so cool. Retro's gonna be ticked because I didn't start recording. I didn't record any of this so far. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> well, we started now. <laughs> this is uh, this is Latin America, Guatemala. Uh, one thing that I really loved about being there is the people are so incredible, so beautiful. There's such a history of the Catholic religion, and uh, so to sit and talk to different people about their uh, their religion, their beliefs about God, it was actually really beautiful. Uh, shot a ton of video, obviously. There's me almost dying, almost slid underneath that bus. Uh, we broke down on the side of the road with a motorcycle. Ate lots of that stuff. Lord, did I eat lots of that stuff. I came back from Guatemala vomiting. I'm going to tell you right now, it was a... So I wanted to give everybody an eye that, that we had there. <laughs> but that wasn't that lady's fault. This was actually a really cool thing. This was a Catholic uh, a bunch of nuns who were going to a pilgrimage. In the bus? In Mexico. Yes, in that bus. That was the bus they were going in. And so it was all specially decorated for this Catholic pilgrimage. And so I actually got to speak yeah. to them. Obviously, I'm fluent in Spanish, so I got to spend some time with these ladies and talk to them. And they come up next in the shot. Uh, there they are. And for this, for this video, I was actually kneeling on my knees. I was going to say, they look like tall women. <laughs> they were not tall women. These were not tall. Yeah, they were, they were short, and I was on my knees for the picture. Uh, and they were the sweetest little things. They're nuns from a particular area of Guatemala. Uh, they have this uh, ropa tra uh, traja tradicional or traja typica that they wear uh, that describes where they're from. And you can see there's crosses on it and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so this is like their, uh, their embroidered uh, clothing that shows who they are and the nuns that they are. And they go around in their community and they help out old people. They deliver meals and stuff. I thought it was so cool oh, yeah. uh, to get to talk to them. And this was one of the experiences that traveling around the globe, like this was one of the things that fires me up that I'm actually out getting to do things for God and like get people fired up for the gospel uh, like these old ladies do. It was really, really cool. Sisters. That's what fires me up. Sisters. Yeah. Well, there they are. Look at them. They are the sweetest ladies. I must have talked to them for about a half hour probably. And uh, that, that's a great bunch of video. Super cool. And there we are praying with, these are the ladies who sewed the patches on the guys that we patched up in Guatemala. Mm. Uh, actually, I think this was, uh, I'm sorry, this was, this was uh, Costa Rica. And uh, so they actually were at a, uh, a seamstress shop and 20 disciples showed up. And uh, we were patching up a charter that had been around for a couple of years and getting them their full patches. So it was a lot of stuff to sew on. And I was there for hours sweating in the sun. This is what always happens when we go out and we give people patches is that we're just sitting in the sun, sweating for hours with no water. There's no water ever provided. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there we were on the street in uh, Costa Rica. It was super cool, super cool, sweet people, very, very sweet people. And uh, we were praying with them. Look at that buttery smooth. Oh, it's the Sons of Thunder. Oh, look at that. Don Spy, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is just like epic. Look at the... I like like even even like the leather in the rag. It just pops out so nicely. It's cool. What do you think of that? I love it. And then there's Big John Hilliard come walking up slowly in the background, <laughs> swinging that big arm of his. Yeah, this is some incredible footage. And uh, so that is that's the end of what we're showing tonight. Anyway, um, I, I hope that's exciting for you to see. It's certainly exciting for me yeah, to relive. It is. Thinking about uh, and, and sort of the unsubscriber video that we're going to shoot, we're actually going to be following my boots. So I have kind of a, a unique wardrobe that I wear, uh, combat boots, black tactical pants. And so we're going to be following my boots with the camera and uh, showing how I sort of I walk all over, walk all over the world. And talking about how the Bible says that the, the feet of those who spread the gospel are beautiful, uh, but my feet just feel tired. And that's going to be the uh, the premise of the video. So I, I think that that might be cool. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have, Armella? Should we show them what we're looking at right now? Yeah, yeah. So right now, uh, you are seeing us and that wall back there. But in front of us is something that looks totally different. And we wanted to show you what that looks like. Check it out. So I wanted to give everybody an idea of what we're looking at as we shoot. So we got these lights that are mounted on tripods so that we can be seen. And then we've got a microphone here. 
This is uh, sitting on a little arm and it's a little wireless mic that runs to this unit right here, plugged into my laptop. Uh, and then of course we're controlling the live stream tonight in OBS, which is here on the main screen. And then over here on the other screen, we've got the editing software. I use Premiere Pro. And this is where all the shots you see tonight are coming from. And uh, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of clips in this area right here. And you can see, uh, we can scroll in on them, hundreds and hundreds of different clips of video that I've uh, put together over the years and I'm sharing tonight from Premiere Pro. So quite an interesting setup just to do what we're doing right now. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it is. I love this desk, and uh, we're, we're trying to set this place up to be uh, functional for both work, editing, and uh, you know, talking to people. I spent a lot of time on the phone. I must have had hours of phone calls yes. today. Yeah. Uh, stuff we're dealing with, addiction problems, domestic violence problems, people mm -hmm. going crazy from COVID, uh, and I spend hours on the phone every day with that. Uh, so that's what I do here at the Lazarus Project. I bet you're probably wondering, what does Amy do here? What do you do here, Amy? <laughs> that's so me, tell, tell, Amy. Uh, tell people what you do about it. Uh, I am a certified master life and health coach and I have a degree in psychology so I do a lot of life coaching and I'm working on master classes, creating content, connecting with people and uh, doing my work. I also help out DCMC. I am busy in here with James and Retro and Drew now, the intern. And we are working and creating for DCMC. It's been a, been a very productive time. It's been good. A little stressful at times, you know. James is uh, intense and uh, he likes a lot of work done. <laughs> but it's good. It's really good. Yeah, it, yeah, we have this open space. That, that wall is 20 feet away at least. And so there's, there's four of us in here on a regular basis working. It's loud. Uh, it's hard to have a conversation. I'm getting passively aggressively mad at Retro. Because like when he walks in, he's like, what's up, guys? I got my bag here, Plum. I'm going to pull out a drill and start drilling in the wall. I'm doing voiceover, editing yeah, yeah. videos. So I'm like, would you please shut up? Uh, but it's so wonderful to be around him because he's, he's, he's obviously somebody that has yeah. uh, believed in me. Yeah, he's awesome. All these years yeah. and uh, has empowered me and helped me to go about doing what we do. And it's, it's quite amazing. I couldn't get your video to play there. You know, like I really tried to get it to play. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's all they get to see of you right there. It's, yeah, that's, that's one of my master classes. So I wanted to give everybody an idea of class is. Oh boy, I'm really hitting the wrong buttons here. Uh, master classes, um, we talk about a subject that has something to do with uh, your inner game, your your mindset, uh, the things that keep us from living our best lives. And, you know, I just focus on one topic and I relate it to a majority of people that I work with and people that I'm going to work with. And that's that's what a master class is. We've started this Discipleship Worldwide <clears throat> Academy, which is a, an ordination process, one-on-one um, uh, -on -one spiritual counseling for people. And uh, I ha I'm excited. I've, I've got clients yeah. lined up. Uh, it's super exciting. I'm going to be doing some scholarships as well. Uh, I can't even, it's hard for me to keep up. We haven't even gotten the website and the logo done. And I don't like to move ahead too fast on things. There's a lot but, uh, that goes we're, into it. We're banging it, right along. Yeah. You know what's exciting is that we are going on the road soon. The uh, 2021 Old School Values Tour is happening. That's why we're learning to use all this new technology on the laptop and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, because we're going to be on the road. And we wanted to uh, let you know kind of where we're going uh, in 2021, the Deep South Tour. So check it out. James Disciple Johnson starts the Old School Values 2021 Deep South Tour in Florida at the Marriage Retreat for Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club the first weekend of February. Then on to New Orleans, across to Tyler, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, Dallas, Texas, and Houston, Texas to hang out with disciples before heading back to the Daytona Beach. Daytona release, March 15th. We'll see you on the road in the Old School Values 2021 Deep South Tour. Yeah, it's going to be a, a long time on the road. And we're going on the motorcycle. Yeah. Both of us are going. I'm not going anywhere alone. I used to have to travel with a disciple. It was always a male disciple that would go with me <laughs> to like keep me safe, make sure I didn't do anything too bad. And uh, so now you're traveling with me. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah. We are in love. I'm going to tell yeah. you, uh, the, the honeymoon <laughs> phase is over. 
Is it? Uh, we, I, you I said know. It, told me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is really wonderful. I, uh, I I fall in love easily, perhaps, but never with somebody so incredible and so amazing. And I'm I'm just thrilled. Like so am I. it is. It is. You are so much like me. You think like I do. I've never met a person that <laughs> it's wonderful. Don't be scared. You understand how I think. I guess you don't yeah. think like I do all the time, but yeah. you do definitely understand how I think, and that's. It's nice to uh, to be so in tune with somebody. And uh, so we're going on the road. I mean, we live in close quarters now, but I mean, we're going on the road, on tour. Yeah. And we're hitting all these cities. Obviously, the president's board is in late January in Florida, uh, spending some time there with Kink as well, trying to work on the store. The store is a lot, lot better than what it used to be. Yeah. Uh, and then we got the marriage retreat the first weekend of February. So we'll be there in Panama City Beach, Florida. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of stuff from Kink on uh, the Black and Gray family page. Yeah, lots Kink's, of Kink's on it. Yeah, lots of new merchandise and stuff that's going to be coming out too, including teddy bears. Yeah, yeah. And oversized magnets, <laughs> yeah. uh, and all sorts of stuff. And then, of course, uh, off to New Orleans uh, and a few other destinations in between there. And then Tyler, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, Ignacio, Colorado, uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, and Dallas. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's so busy. And then back to Daytona, back to Florida for the Daytona release. Amarillo. Are we going to Amarillo? <sighs> no, no, no. Lubbock. You said Lubbock. we haven't even, this is the thing is we haven't even set all the, the, the dates yet. Like we just speak it and then it happens. Yeah. We're going to be down there. It happens a little <laughs> too fast for me. Yeah. Well, something we caught tonight, I am working on my skills as a cameraman. And, uh, so hopefully you're seeing better video out of me in the future. You're seeing me be more motivated to shoot great video for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and uh, one of the things that I'm trying to learn is called the time lapse. Uh, and so this is uh, when you capture one of those shots where the, the sun goes down and the, the front door light comes on and the clouds are moving by. Well, tonight I finally, for the first time in my life, shot a time lapse. Yeah. And, and edited it and produced it. And I did one in Thailand. It was an hour and a half long. It was up on a hill overlooking Burapa Bike Week. And so you had like the Thai sun going down with the palm trees and then all the flags yeah. and the, the, uh, the hot dog vendors or Thai meat vendors, whatever it might be. And the lights from the, you know, the neon lights coming up and the sun going, it was so cool. And it all got deleted, mm. but finally I've shot a time lapse. I'm trying to put these more into the old school value show. This is old school values live. We're live right now. Anything can go wrong, but old school values, the show on YouTube obviously is a lot more complicated and uh, we want to put some of those cool transitional shots in. And so here is my first attempt at doing a time lapse. So there's Retro, he's about to leave. Yeah, so it wasn't bad. It was really a beautiful, uh, beautiful yeah. evening this, this evening. It really was a beautiful sunset. Well, we are super excited you took the time to watch, and uh, we want to thank you for tuning in, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Make sure you share the video out there. Let people yeah. know. Tag somebody that you think might uh, want to see this cool three bunch of people, video. Right? That's right. Tag three. three people. That's right. Yeah, please. And uh, definitely reach out to me. I want to tell you, the man card program has been amazing. Any man can get a man card, but a godly man card is a totally different story. And we are bringing the revolutionary, life-changing program to you. You, too, can pick up with the four legs, with personal coaching on your spiritual situation, with a godly man who knows what it's like to go through what you go through and know how to overcome as well. Yeah. I encourage you to reach out to me, James Disciple Johnson, and get enrolled in the four-week intensive, deep spiritual coaching program called the Godly Man Card Program. And I think that you too will find a new interest, a new spark, a new fire in your spiritual walk. Well, what do you think? Did we do good? I think we did great. Yeah? Yeah. Good. I do too. Yeah. It felt good. It was a good show. And of course, we do have an outro for you. We wanted you to see some cool video on your way out as well. I'm James Disciple Johnson, founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. I pray that the Lord pour out a new fire on you in 2021, that you receive the voice of the Lord like you never have before, that he speaks to you 
even on your bed at night, that you get excited about the things of God, that the Holy Spirit of God moves in your life, makes you a better person, a better parent, and helps you overcome strongholds, addiction, unforgiveness, and generational curses this year. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Well, that's all for this week, y'all. Thanks for watching James Disciple Johnson's Old School Values Live. Make sure you share this video on your page and leave us a comment so we know where you're watching all around the world. Of course, you can Google James Disciple Johnson's mission to donate today to keep this ministry alive or text 43James, that's the number four, the number three, and the name James to 44321. That's text 43 James to 44321 to give today and keep us moving forward. God bless you so much. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.